Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Uh, welcome to this special episode. Uh, I'm going to show you one of my trades. So what has happened about a month before, uh, one of my friends came to Chennai and he wanted an interview for his channel. And in fact, that was my first uh, uh, Hindi interview in my friend's channel. So because my friend came and asked me, sir, you give me one strategy. So I thought, you know, uh, I will just execute in my account and I will share that strategy. So I executed that strategy. So what was that strategy? That's what I'm going to share with you now. Number one, I was bullish about our market. And uh, you, you like some people say, Mr. Sundar, you are always bullish, right? But not true. Uh, you know, in the past, we have observed, you know, as and when the markets have fallen so much, whether it is of 2008 or it is of 2013 taper tantrum or whether it is of 2016 uh, demonetization, uh, you know, or whether it is of 2020 coronavirus. So any time, you know, when the markets have fallen drastically and our markets have always gone up to take the all time high again. This time because of this US inflation and this and that, so our markets have fallen so much. So I thought, you know, all this will come to an end, you know, so markets will move higher, will definitely take an all time high in the next maybe 12 to 18 months. I've taken a bullish view. So even recently in money control interview also, I said I'm bullish only. So I'm bullish for this calendar year to 18,500 to 19,000. For next calendar year, I'm bullish for about 20,500 to 21,000. Again, this is purely my view and I may be wrong. I always say, you know, I have a right to be wrong and I'm not a SEBI registered, you know, so this is just my view. What I did when I made my, my friend came, so to give an interview to his channel, I've already took some position and then I explain in that video. So what is the logic in this? And I also uh, promised that, you know, uh, if any adjustments I do, I will be letting the people know. What I did, I'm just going to explain to you. So just because of bullish, what people do, they go long in future. So I also did the same thing. I was bullish, I went long in future. And second thing, the moment you go long in future, the always the fear comes to your mind. Sir, I go long, but if the market falls, I will lose a lot of money. Especially if you are taking long in future, you know, it's a leveraged bet. When the market falls, you will lose a lot of money. As a hedge, what I did, I bought a put option. Normally what the people do, they buy the put option in the short term, but I buy put option for the next year, December. But the problem is that if you want to buy a put option in the next year, December expiry, it will be trading with a very high premium. So what I did, so that premium, I don't want to pay from my pocket. I collected that premium by selling far out of the money call option. In which call option I sold? I sold 21,000 call option. Why did I sell 21,000 call option? Because I'm thinking, you know, market can go up to 21,000. It may go beyond that also. We will see that time. I can always make some adjustments. Now, look at my screen. So these are the three positions which I've taken. Nifty, December future, I bought 500 quantity and my average price is 17,200. 17,200, now it is almost 18,800. You shot up how much? 1,600 points. And I'm sitting with a profit of more than 8 lakh rupees. That's because it's 10 lots, it's not one lot. For 10 lots, future long, I'm sitting with more than 8 lakh rupees profit. The moment I took future long position around 17,200, I wanted to hedge this portfolio by buying 17,000 put option. That's what I've done here. So this is 17,000 put option, which is next year December. Future long is the current year December because for next year December, there is no future long. Future long, you can do only for three months. I think this one I did already sometime in the month of uh, November, I think. Maybe October end or November, I don't remember exactly. So I went long in current year December. Next year December put option I bought. Same 500 quantity I bought. I bought for 1,400 rupees, but now it has come to around 400 rupees. So that means roughly about 1,000 rupees lost. So around 5 lakh rupees was lost. So my profit was 8 lakh plus. My loss is about 5 lakh. And still 
I am sitting with a profit of more than 3 lakh rupees. But to buy this put option, I had to pay 1400 rupees, 1410 rupees per share. That is almost 7 lakh rupees I had to pay from my pocket. So what I did, I sold 21,000 call option, 1500 quantity. So 1500 quantity is actually 3 times. So 3 times 455. That will work out to be approximately 1400 rupees. I sold 1500 quantity, 21,000 call option. And you know, surprisingly, although market shot up 1600 point in last 2 months, and the call option is still giving some profit. But profit is not big, it's about 22,000 rupees profit. So that means put together, I'm sitting with a MTM profit of about 5 lakh rupees. But I have no intention to close this position. I intend to carry this position until market goes to 21,000. So that you know, my future long will continue to give profit. Come end of December, I will close this position. I will take future long in January or February. So that is called rolling it over. So I will roll over this position until the end of next December and I will continue to carry this position. And just because although I am making much more profit in future, I could not digest the fact that I am losing lot of money in the buy put option. So later what I did, I just sold some extra put options to cover this loss that you can see somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know where it is. I have too many positions, so finding it difficult. So later I sold some 15,000, 16,000 put options to recover some losses of this uh, loss in the uh, 17,000 put option buy. But if market reverses, if it goes to below 15,000, that may give trouble. Anyway, so maybe uh, after maybe one or two months, I'll come out with an update in this position. Usually, you know, uh, November, December, January, February, these four months is the best time to take positions in uh, long term options. And uh, we are planning a conference in Cochin. So in the Cochin conference also, I will surely be taking some trade and I will be following it up with my followers.